we're going to be parsing a resume into Bullhorn. So this is how it works. So from an email, I got a resume from a candidate, PDF and doc. We can take either one. I guess I prefer PDF, but either one works the same way. So what you do is you can drag and drop resumes directly into Bullhorn. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. You would be parsing someone either as a new candidate or parsing them as an existing candidate. And depending on what that is, um, you can do it in a number of ways. So we're just going to do one easy way to get this. So you start by downloading the resume. So you just get it here and here it pops up in my downloaded folder right here. And what you can do is you can simply drag drop this here into what's called the bowling alley in Bullhorn. And this candidate I know is already on my system. So it will parse as existing, but if you drag him into the bowling alley and let go, It'll do its uh, processing and then it'll notice it has a duplicate record. And a lot of times the duplicate record is not really duplicate. The duplication check with Bullhorn simply looks at the first three letters of the first and last name. And if it sees something really similar or exact, then it, um, it throws it up as a possibility. So if this person is in fact who, it, who, uh, um, who you're trying to parse, which in this case it is, um, you're going to choose parse as existing. If not, you can simply hit continue. So in this case, I will parse as existing. So I will hit parse as existing. And then it'll throw up a thing allowing you to compare the information that was there to the information that's going in. So in this case, on the left-hand side is the old values. On the right-hand side is the new values. You can check and uncheck whatever fields that you want to have update the record in Bullhorn. What you will find Bullhorn does is always seems nowadays to capitalize the letter, the words of the name, the person last name. And we don't want that because when we do mass emails, we don't want to have it say dear and then his name in all caps. It just spells a mass email and we want to keep that personalized. So in order to change the name, it's not just one place. You would think it would just be right here on the second one, but it's not. It also is being done here under a first name and here under a second name. So you want to uncheck that top one up here and then this one and then finally this one. So then now that you've got all those in there and they're check marked the way you want, that's the only thing I've ever seen that you need to update. Everything else should be fine. Um, you hit save and then it'll bring up the candidate's record and it'll show you an overview of that. that Resume result resides under the tabs field, which is right here And you can see that we keep file types of each kind of Document that we add as a file to someone's record. So as you can see now we've got two resumes One of them is old. So you look at the timestamp and in this case 11 minutes ago, I dropped one in here, but then this time I dropped this one in here So what you're gonna do is um, change resume to old resume. And then this one will be the new resume. Um, in this case, I'm gonna delete this one out because I was just for example purposes, I added it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So we'll delete that. But now you have the new resume and the fact that you parsed as existing now changes things on the overview tab. It changes all of the contact information, it changes the resume that is currently on the system. And so that is how you parse a resume into Bullhorn from email or from wherever you get a doc or PDF version of this. And you always want to check when you're parsing stuff in, do a quick look over to make sure that the information going in is accurate because the parsing engine in Bullhorn can be problematic at times. So there you go.